This project is designed to monitor important system parameters from a Windows PC and display them externally using a small screen powered by an ESP32 LilyGo T-Series display board. The main goal is to create a portable and real-time computer status display, which is a especially useful for content creators, gamers, developers, and system administrators who want to keep track of their PC health without interrupting their workflow. To build this system, I use the LilyGo T-Display S3 AMOLED, which features the powerful ESP32S3 microcontroller. The ESP32S3 provides dual-core performance, built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5, and supports AI acceleration for edge computing tasks. With a vibrant 1.9-inch AMOLED screen offering sharp visuals and low-power usage, the board is well-suited for real-time display of system metrics like CPU load, memory usage, and battery status. Its compact size, integrated USB Type-C interface, and built-in battery management make it ideal for portable, embedded applications, combining functionality and aesthetics in a single unit. To build this system, we used VisualBasic.net as the front-end software to fetch and send critical data. The software gathers parameters like CPU usage, memory load, Wi-Fi strength, battery level, charge-discharge status, and system uptime. These values are then sent over a serial communication link to a LilyGo T-Display board, which visually presents them on a small color TFT screen. Initially, the display was housed in a custom 3D printed case that could be mounted on the top edge of a laptop screen. Later, the project was improved by using the built-in case of the LilyGo T-Display board for better aesthetics and portability. Comment it which is looking good and what are the other features I can add. The serial port component in Visual Basic is a built-in tool that allows communication between the PC and an external device like an Arduino or microcontroller through serial communication, typically via USB. It acts as a software interface that opens a COM port and listens for incoming data or sends data out. The serial port is configured with specific settings, such as baud rate, parity, data bits, and stop bits, to match the configuration expected by the Arduino. Once the COM port is opened, the VB application periodically reads system information. Using built-in .NET libraries, like system Requisites and system management, then formats that information into a single line of text, and finally, sends it to the Arduino over the serial connection. This makes the serial port component a vital bridge between the PC software and the embedded hardware, facilitating two-way data exchange in a very simple yet powerful way. On the Visual Basic application, two different timers are used to manage the system's operations. Timer 1 is responsible for continuously fetching system parameters and sending them to the Arduino. It is set to run at a fixed interval for example, every 1,000 milliseconds, which equals one second. Every time timer one ticks, it collects fresh data, such as CPU usage, RAM usage, system uptime, and other parameters. These values are formatted into a single line of text using predefined tags like CPU colon, RAM used colon, uptime colon, and so on. All the values are joined using commas, and the final string ends with a new line character. This formatted line is then transmitted to the Arduino through the COM port. On the Arduino side, a function called read serial data constantly checks the serial buffer using serial available. If data is available, it reads one character at a time and appends it to a buffer. When it detects a new line character, end, it concludes that one complete message has been received. At this point, the string is passed to either the parse data function or a message handler depending on whether the string starts with a prefix like MSG or not. This structure allows both numeric data and alert messages to be handled efficiently. The design ensures that even if data arrives in chunks, it will be correctly reconstructed before processing. Working of the parse data function. The parse data function plays a central role in decoding the incoming string. It uses a helper function called getVal which extracts values between predefined tags and delimiters. For example, to extract the CPU load from the string CPU colon 25%, the function looks for the substring starting right after the tag CPU colon and ending at the percent symbol. 
This value is then stored in a variable like PCData.CPU. Similarly, memory usage is labeled with the tag mem and values are extracted between the colon and slash symbols. This allows the system to split the used memory and total memory into two separate fields. The GCU load, battery level, and Wi-Fi signal strength all follow the same principle, each using unique tags to identify and isolate their respective values. The structure of the incoming string is carefully designed to make parsing easier and error-free. Each data point starts with a tag, followed by a colon, which separates the label from its value. For example, CPU colon 25% clearly identifies that 25% is related to CPU usage. Commas are used to separate each data block, acting as delimiters that help the parser break the full line into smaller chunks. This way, the microcontroller or Arduino can process each segment individually without confusion. At the end of the line, a new line character is added to indicate the completion of one full set of values. This new line acts as a boundary marker so the receiving side knows where the current message ends and the next one begins. The parsed information is then used by the display driver to show meaningful text and visual indicators on the TFT screen. For instance, a progress bar can be updated for CPU load, while textual information like battery percentage or system uptime can be printed directly to the screen. This modular approach makes it easy to add or remove any metric from the system in the future. If a new sensor or data field is introduced, only a small update to the tag list and parsing logic is required. This makes the entire system flexible, scalable, and easy to maintain. The TFT ESPI library acts as an abstraction layer over the driver, providing functions to draw text, lines, images, and graphs easily. Together, they make it simple to render Caraza dynamic data like CPU and RAM usage, battery status, and messages. The ESP32 periodically updates the screen with the latest values fetched ED. Coraz from the PC giving a real-time dashboard experience. Why task manager and tool may not match. One thing to note is that the values displayed on our external TFT display may slightly differ from those seen in task manager. This happens because task manager uses system level hooks and kernel based APIs that provide real-time updates with high precision. Our visual basic application on the other hand fetches data at fixed intervals, like once per second. This sampling rate, along with cool, the averaging logic, may introduce slight delays or smoothing effects. Therefore, the values may appear as averages or lag slightly behind quaff. Task Manager. If you know how to fetch precise kernel-level data with exact timestamps or events like in Task Manager, do comment below. It will help improve the accuracy of such tools. In conclusion, this project combines the simplicity of Visual Basic with the power of Arduino hardware to create a real-time system monitor. It's an excellent example of how software and hardware can work together to create useful, user-friendly solutions for everyday computing problems. Whether you are a student, a tech enthusiast, or a professional, this project demonstrates the basics of serial communication, system monitoring, and embedded display development in a simple and effective way.